so this is the poco x6 pro 5g and in this video i will show you how to root this pawn using kernel su on the stock rom okay after it finished you can install other modules such as elpos sages and other stuff okay i will show you the step uh before and after and when it finished can have a safe environment for and banking your wallet and other stuff okay so maybe some of you guys already tried it you cannot use the patch boot image on the spawn so we have to use another method okay so make sure for all the step so you will not get any trouble okay uh, this tutorial can also be applied using mages but in this video i will prefer using the kernel so okay so stay tuned and check it out Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum, with again with Tombop, and now in my hand I have the POCO X6 Pro 5G, okay, so in this video I will show you how to root this one. Okay, maybe some of you guys already try. we cannot do the patch boot method in this spawn, instead we are going to use another method. Okay, first thing to do, like usual, uh, let's check the exiting system, you can see right here, POCO X6 Pro 5G OS person I Pro S 1.0.9 Okay, you can enable the developer option by hit the build number 5 times, go back and then additional settings developer option and from here we can see the bootloader status scans. Uh, okay, you can see that the bootloader has been unlocked. Okay, so you must wait seven days. There is no bypass unlock bootloader for this for this one. Okay, and the second one you need to have the stock firmware. Okay, so if I use this stock firmware, the global version one point zero point nine, so I uh, I also have to download the firmware. Okay, I already downloaded it in the computer and we need the uh, top firmware you can see right here I'm using the same firmware global image IPROS 1.0.9 and uh, you need to get the init boot okay this one and we also need the magis or kernel su okay we're going to use the kernel su this is the latest one let's copy the file and then copy to the internal storage okay let's copy to the root folder kernel 2 and also the init but okay let's paste in here <clears throat> then let's go back to the to the point oh, we're back into the pond and already open the file manager from here navigate where you have your kernel suit just open the apps give it permission install okay let's wait when it finishes we can start patching the init boot okay and from here uh hit this one click to install select a file navigate to a folder where you have the init boot okay this is our init boot hit next <coughs> and it will be done and copy to the download folder okay okay so from here you need to copy this kernel soup patch into your computer and boot it into the fast boot mode okay now we are in the desktop again it's always good to flash the anti-break okay so first thing to do let's Plus the anti brick prep patch. <clears throat> okay, just type fast boot space flash preloader A and just click and drag the file. Okay, yes, this is one and <clears throat> type the next command fast boot space flash preloader B and then click and drag the file again. Okay, done. Are you good to go? If if you have break, you can flash without the out account. Okay, the next step. 
I already copy the currency right here. And that's fast the init boot. Comment is face boot space flash space init underscore boot. And last the currency pads. Okay. Done. You're good to go. Now let's type fast boot reboot. Okay. Now let's wait until it's booted into the Android. Okay, here we go. Now we are in the home screen. Let's open the kernel 2. You can see right here. Now we have successfully installed kernel 2. So from here, you can install modern and other stuff. Okay, let's try it. Hit install. Uh, I'm going to install the ZG Snacks. Okay. We need this one. And I also want to install the uh, elbows. Okay, from here you can install other stuff such as Smiley and other thing. Okay, okay, so that's all. And if you need all the file and step, I'll provide in my blog. You can check the link in the description box. Okay, if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section. If I have time, I will try to answer it. Okay, uh. That's all. See you in the next video. Wassalamualaikum.